Hello everyone, Gecko here. The construction trucks are busy building a brand new play area at the school today. Great work, Blue Mechanical. That new rainbow paint mixer's working brilliantly. Oh dear, Blue. I think I might have spoken too soon. Celia the cement mixer's on her way with lots of concrete mixing in her drum. Celia's drum keeps spinning, round and round and round. It keeps the concrete nice and soft until it's in the ground. The mechanicals have a secret plan to make the ground less boring. Here we go. This is the spot. Celia can start pouring. Oh dear, Celia, stop! What's wrong, Red Mechanical? Celia, apparently your concrete's the wrong colour. You need lots of different coloured concrete. How on earth are we going to do that, I wonder? That's it! Blue Mechanical, please can we borrow your new rainbow paint mixer? Now, with a little alteration, we can attach the paint mixer onto Celia, connect the pipe to the drum, hmm, and yes, brilliant! I think that's it. Okay, let's test this out. Let's try mixing some red concrete. You help me. What colour is the mechanical holding up? Yes, that's right. It's orange. That's looking great. What colour's this? Yes, that's right. Let's have yellow now, please, Celia. What colour's next? Brilliant! Next up is green. There's another colour. Which one's this? Can you say it with me? Blue! Yes! It's time for blue! Beautiful. I think we're nearly there. This next colour has a tricky name. It's called indigo. And finally, do you know this one? It's called violet, but between you and me, it looks a lot like purple. Fantastic work, Celia, and a great team effort from everyone. Look at that! We've made a beautiful rainbow on the playground floor. The mini mechanicals are going to love this. Don't you just love happy endings? Dr Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones. But I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone. It's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out, and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, gifts and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. 
Well done, Mechanicals! Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare part store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs, fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know just the mixer, Celia! Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. The truck wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise! Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear, the traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking, Florence. They must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, guests, gifts and party hats. Ah, here come the games! Ryan has a piñata filled with sweets. And Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of Pass the Parcel. And here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko. Just the party hats left to get. Found them! Phew! Come on, Florence. Let's take all these cones back to the garage. I wonder what Dr Poppy wants them for. Shh, everybody. Here he comes. Three, two, one. Surprise! <laughs> oh my goodness. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question, what did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course! <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko! This is my garage. Here at Gecko's Garage, we fix any vehicle in trouble. I wonder who will be helping today? Oh look, here comes Bobby the bus over the hill. Bobby spends his days travelling around town, picking people up and dropping people off. He's a very helpful little bus.
Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Bobby. What's wrong? Are your tyres flat? Are your windows broken? Have your lights stopped working? What do you think is wrong with Bobby? It sounds like your fuel tank is nearly empty. Shall we give you a top up? Fill, fill, fill. Let's fill up your tank. For all of this fuel, I'm sure you'll thank. Let's fix that light that was so dim. Full, full, full. Full to the brim. There. All filled up and ready to go. Bye bye, Bobby. See you again soon. Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane is working on the construction site today. His job is to smash down old buildings using his big, heavy wrecking ball. Go, go, Ryan! Oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. Your wrecking ball is lost in the river. Poor, poor Ryan, you can't do your job without your wrecking ball. Come over to Gecko's garage right away. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Drive onto the platform and let's take a good look at you. It looks as if the wrecking ball wasn't attached properly. I'll get the mechanicals to find you a new one to try out. Go, go mechanicals! they found you a new wrecking ball. Now, let's see if you can smash this wall. Ooh, it may be strong and very shiny, but that ball is far too tiny. The second ball looks just the thing. Now give it an almighty swing. It's big and heavy and... Oh wait, Ryan can't even hold it straight. The third attempt might smash the wall. It's not too big and not too small. But a glass wrecking ball, I fear, is not the cleverest idea. The fourth one's made of stronger stuff. I hope that it's strong enough. Oh dear, this wrecking ball's no good. We can't smash a solid wall. With wood? Surely now these blocks will fall with a rubber wrecking ball. Ryan swings it back, but no such luck. Look out, mechanicals, quick! Duck! Ah, finally, the real deal. A wrecking ball that's made of steel. It's strong and heavy, not too small. One swing, and then it's... Bye bye, wall! Fantastic! The mechanicals have found the perfect wrecking ball for you, Ryan. And it's held on firmly, so you won't have any more accidents. Time to get you back to work at the construction site. I'm glad we could fix Ryan's wrecking ball. He has important work to do smashing down old buildings so that his friends can build new ones. And now he has the right tool for the job. For more amazing videos, why not tap here to subscribe to Toddler Fun Learning and tap here to watch more videos from me. We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored and now he's here flattening anything he can find. 
Hey, that's my toolbox. Rick. We really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello, Vicky. Vicky the ice cream van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit, but we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone. Those smoothies look great. Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Fiona the fire truck's at the garage today. She's having her yearly checkup. 
Yes, Blue, there is a lot to do. It's going to take all day. Mm-hmm. If Fiona is here all day, what's going to happen if she's called to an emergency? What's that, Red? You've got a friend who'd like to volunteer for firefighting duty. Brilliant! Where is this new friend of yours? I'm really excited about meeting this shiny new fire truck. I wonder when she's going to get here. Oh, she's here already. Uh, hello. You must be Maggie. Maggie the mini fire truck. Hehe, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was expecting someone a little <laughs> bigger. Ah! <laughs> yes. Stop, stop! Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Red. I'm sorry, Maggie. It was mean of me to laugh at you because of your size. Thanks for offering to help today. A fire? At the farm? You'd better get going. Good luck, everyone. Hello Maggie. Hello Red. Hello Blue. You look worn out after such a busy day on firefighting duty. What a fantastic job you've done covering for Fiona. Even though you're tiny, you were a massive help today. Now Fiona's as good as new, she can't wait to get back to work. And Maggie's going to make a fantastic addition to the firefighting crew. All of my friends are having a great time playing with Max the monster truck at his stunt track. Everyone's getting covered in thick brown mud. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Max, Rebecca, Fiona, Danny. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can all get cleaned up in our car wash. How many yucky, mucky trucks and other vehicles are there? Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Ten muddy vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up. One at a time now, into the car wash. Biggest vehicle first. Here comes our biggest vehicle, the first to wash today. Ah, it's Larry the Lorry. He's big and tall and grey. Who's the second vehicle? I don't know, do you? Oh, 
Of course, it's Bobby the Bus. Back to a purple hue. And third in line for cleaning, flashing lights upon her head. It's Fiona, the fabulous fire truck, shiny, strong and red. The fourth truck is so dirty, only her eyes can be seen. It's Rebecca, the recycling truck, with her paintwork bright and green. Do you know who the sixth one could be? Covered in gunk and goop. Ah, it's Danny the digger with his enormous yellow scoop. The fifth truck has four giant wheels. He's really very mucky. It's Max, the orange monster truck. It's his fault they're all yucky. The seventh, with a mud-filled loudspeaker balanced on her head. That's right, it's Amber the ambulance. Now she's back to white instead. The eighth one through is smaller. Let's get his colour back. It's Tony the helpful taxi with his paintwork glossy black. The ninth one is another car. At least that's what I think. It's Sophie the speedy sports car. What a lovely shade of pink. This last vehicle is the tenth we've seen. Let's make her good as new. It's Millie the motorbike on two wheels. A brilliant shade of blue. Here comes Sophie the sports car. She looks grumpy. I wonder what's wrong. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hiya Sophie. Wow, those are some nasty scratches in your paintwork. Would you like a respray? I'll get my mechanicals on it right away. Go, go mechanicals! Let's choose some paint to cover that scratch. I'm sure we'll find something to match. Unless you'd like to try something new, we could find another colour for you. How about yellow? What about red? The blue looks amazing. Green really suits you. Purple looks nice. Stripey? I'm not sure about that. You don't like any of the new colours, Sophie? In that case, I've got one more idea. How about this? Back to your old colour. Pink! There, all done. That nasty scratch is gone, and you look good as new. Bye bye, Sophie. Try not to get that paintwork scratched again, but if you do, we'll be here to help put it right. Wow, just look at her go! Sophie can really zoom now. Don't drive too fast, Sophie, or you might get stopped by the police. Uh-oh, Sophie, now you've done it. Millie the motorbike is here to tell you to slow down. Find out what happens to Sophie and Millie in the next episode. Oh no! Our sign's blown down in the storm. The mechanicals can fix it, but how can we get it back onto the roof? Hmm. I know. Caroline the Crane. She's just the vehicle for the job. Hello Caroline. Good to see you. Now that the wind has stopped, 
Could you please help us get our sign back onto the roof? Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. There must be something wrong with your winch motor. Let's get the mechanicals to take a look at you. Come on inside the garage. Vehicle turntable, spin, spin, spin. Let's make sad Caroline grin, grin, grin. Go, go, mechanicals. Hmm. Everything seems okay here. I think you just need some oil. We need someone who can reach. Go, go, super mechanical. There. That oil should have freed everything up. Let's test your winch. One meter, two meters, three meters, four meters, five meters. Everything seems to be working fine now. How high can you lift them, Caroline? Uh-oh, I didn't mean that high. You've crashed right through the roof. Before we get this sign back up, I think the mechanicals had better get that hole fixed. We don't want any rain getting into the garage. Now that the mechanicals have fixed the hole, reattaching the sign is our new goal. Caroline lifts it high off the ground, so people can see it for miles around. Thanks for your help with the sign, Caroline. Uh-oh, now the hole's fixed and Caroline's gone home. The mechanicals are stuck up on the roof. Let's hope they get down before the next episode. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!